Hi Virgo, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. And this reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Virgo sign. As we take a look at the uh, week, you know, we have the winter solstice happening in the northern hemisphere, the uh, movement to winter. And so let's see what we have. And um, with my spread, I look at the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes, I also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's go ahead and see what we have for you. Okay. So we have the High Priestess, Major Arcana. We have the Ace of Cups, beautiful card. We have the Three of Pentacles, very nice. So the High Priestess, you can see this beautiful high priestess. It looks like she's kind of floating on the water. Water represents our subconscious. And so really, when we see the high priestess in a reading, it's about accessing your intuition, your own subconscious. It's really um, finding the quiet space for yourself and to reflect on, uh, you know, reflect on your own being. And so that means listening to your intuition, following your intuition, following your inner guide, paying attention to messages, paying attention to dreams, things that people say to you. You know, it's just a whole being really just acutely aware of everything ar around you. But to do so, the High Priestess really encourages this um, quietness, which is time for you to reflect on yourself. This is feminine energy, and this is, uh, you know, with the sense of knowledge that, that the knowledge that you have, the knowledge is within. Your knowledge is within you, and so sometimes we keep things that are below the surface, and we don't let them come out. And then other times we um, begin to acknowledge them. So with the high priestess, there's a sense here of really reflecting on what is it that is uh, taking you on your spiritual path. And it's tapping into your own psychic intuition, your own psychic abilities. Then we have the Ace of Cups fabulous card beautiful card and you can see this cup with the rays beaming out and then down the middle looks like a rainbow could be a, f a lotus perhaps flower here on the on the bottom this is a card of a deep emotional rich connection it's the opportunity for either romance or a fulfilling relationship that is uh, connected where you're really emotionally connected to each other. So it's the potential of something very deep and wonderful. And if you're in a relationship, then it's, uh, perhaps a strengthening or deepening your bond. But here is, this is the promise of happiness and joy and love and feeling loved. And so, uh, you know, the aces are gifts or blessings, opportunities from the universe. And so be, keep your eyes open. If you're single, keep your eyes open. Put yourself in situations to meet others in things that you love to do. Maybe that's a great way to start. Join a meetup group, go to a, uh, you know, craft show, find something that interests you. Dog Walker Park. And then from there, meeting people and putting yourself out there opens up the opportunity to, to make connections and to have these moments where you can uh, connect with someone else and maybe can lead to something greater, grander, and deeper. So this is a fabulous card because it's really happiness, joy, and love, overflowing with love. And then we have this lovely card of the Three of Pentacles. So in this illustration, we see the person here is uh, an artist and is creating art. Here, there's a pentagram on the wall here and the symbols. And so 
The Three of Pentacles is about being a skilled artist, a skilled craftsman, a skilled worker. And again, it says works here, but you are very good at what you do. You're able to work with others. You're able to work toward a common goal. You will be recognized for your abilities, which is a positive thing. People will notice you. And that ultimately may lead to more business or just uh, satisfaction on your behalf of just job well done. But this is, uh, you do this because you're focused and you want to do a nice and a fabulous job. You know, you're proud of your craft and, and this is what, uh, this is what you want to do. So this is a beautiful reading for Tuesday. Ace of Cups leading the way with love, happiness, abundance, joy. Three of Pentacles doing a great job. Whatever it may be, whether it's in a relationship of working well together, whether it's at, um, you know, your, your bowling league or, or, or your, you know, your outside activities, that you're talented, you're skilled, or, you know, at the office, at the workplace, you're good at what you do. You take satisfaction from that. You will be recognized for your abilities. And then behind it all is this sense of self-reflection of uh, digging deep within yourself to reveal your own desires, your own wants, your needs, and what you hope for along your spiritual path and paying attention to intuition, paying attention to your, your gut, your hunches, giving them credence, really giving them their due instead of brushing them off. Fabulous for Tuesday. So let me go ahead and, oh, do the numbers. I'll do the numbers. Two and one is three and another three is six. And six is about social consciousness. There's a sense of compassion, peace and stability with sixes. So again, a beautiful day for Tuesday. And to close the reading, I'm going to pull an oracle from the Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. And we'll get a sense of a uh, deepening of this reading. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing. So with the High Priestess, paying attention to your own psychic capabilities, listening to your inner voice, you know, uh, paying attention to what's bubbling beneath the surface, maybe hopes and dreams, things that you've been thinking about. To the Ace of Cups, here's the flow of the water, going with the flow, having that easygoing attitude helping to attract others, law of attraction, and your work, going with the flow, smooth sailing, you're doing what you want to do and you do it well, and people notice that. So fantastic reading for Tuesday, just lovely. And I wish you a great day. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's a great way to stay connected and to show support. And I truly appreciate everyone who takes the time to watch these videos and these readings. And um, just a reminder, on uh, Friday, we'll do another live stream and I'll be available to answer questions. We'll pick a topic, we'll look at some cards and just have fun like we did last week. So that's something to look forward to. In the meantime, come back again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.